god. This is the most unstable tripod I have ever seen. And I thought I was unstable. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay. I think. I think we're good. I think that's. I like this angle. Okay. Hi everyone, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you probably saw in the previous clips, I went to the new Night Angel shop that just opened in my area. And it was everything I hoped for. Of course, I did a huge shopping haul. I'm not finished. I'm going back probably next week to get the rest of the stuff because I figured I would get some of it now to show you guys and then get the rest just off camera because I feel like it's a long way to go and I had to bring everything back home with me. It's just a huge hassle. So I'm gonna go back and get the rest next week, which is why if you don't see a lot of the stuff that you would normally get from Night Angel, that's why I'm getting it next week, don't worry. Anyway, so obviously I'm going to be unboxing everything that I got on camera. I've never done one of these unboxing videos before, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, we can start. This is, I've got two bags. Oh no, one bag. It's huge bag. <laughs> Stuff. So, if I can open it. Right. Okay, so. First thing I'm gonna show you because it fell out. If I move closer to the camera, I got these freeze-dried tofu snacks. I will insert a clip of what they look like inside because I haven't actually opened it yet. But this is one of their newer products. And I think the container was so cute. They had like this, their logo with the little tofu um, on the inside. I think that's really smart, it's adorable. I've never actually tried freeze-dried tofu with my houses before, so I'm interested to see how they like it. The next thing I picked up was the cork granules. These are actually really light, believe it or not. Um, it's... how many litres is this? Four litres, it says right there. Four litres of cork granules, and I don't know if you can see, they have little um, orange flowers, I think, in it. So that's another cool substrate for their enclosure. Let me move back so you can see my head. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got was this flower, flower path herbs. These are basically just a ton of dried flowers and it looks so pretty. It's so colorful. I love it and it smells amazing. I'll leave what's in the boxes for last because these are I don't actually remember what I got in the boxes, so it's kind of a surprise for me as well. I've actually got no clue. <laughs> Alright, so next thing I got were these sprays. I'm so excited about the sprays. I'm so, I've been wanting to get my hands on some sprays for so long. And I finally got around to it. So there's I see wheat flax and millet so that's amazing wait there's two separate bags in here yeah there is so see that it's so cool and there's quite a lot as well which is great all right and the last thing i got that wasn't in a box is their toilet sand. This is 1.8 liters. I think I'm finished. <laughs> the sand is 1.8 liters. It's a pretty big bag. I really needed some more sand, so I'm glad they sold this. I almost got the desert sand but I decided on this one just to try it out first. All right, onto the boxes. I've got four boxes here. I've got two kind of flat ones and then two big cube ones. So let's grab my scissors so you can open them up. But I didn't get them yet, did I? No, I didn't. 
Got them. Okay, so we're gonna start with the smaller boxes. I'm gonna get my bag out of the way. We'll start with the smallest one. I think I remember what this is, but I'm not. Oh, I can just. Ah, okay. So I got this little wavy bridge. I thought this was so cute. This is what it looks like. It's just basically a bendable bridge, but you don't bend it. It's just like a solid bridge, but it's like wavy. I thought it'd be really cute to hook onto like a high platform or something. So I got that, super duper cute. Put it back in the box. How do I, okay. I don't think these need to be taped up, so I don't remember what this is. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so I got a platform. This is the, Oh, this tape. Why is the tape? I don't know why this tape. I got. I can take out the box. There we go. I got a platform. Like I said, I only got one because I didn't know how much I needed. So, like money wise, I didn't know how much money I needed. I did have enough. Like, it's actually so cheap, it's crazy. It comes with these stilts, so let me open up the stilts and then try to put the hideout together on camera for you guys. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so excited about getting my hands on these products because I remember seeing a lot of hamster YouTubers with these products. I'm like, oh my god, I need them so bad. And I finally have access to easy access to them. I'm so excited. And I'm also wearing my hamster servant hoodie. Shout out to Victoria Rachel. I have two of these now. I got this one for Christmas. And then my old one I got way back in like 2020. So beautiful, very fitting. So yeah. The hideout. What? <laughs> the platform. And now oh, I need to crack open this. My ear is like really itchy. Right. I think it opens this way. excited about this look how beautiful that is I need to get another one I should have gone two honestly because I don't know why I don't... Hello? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go back probably next weekend and get the rest of the stuff that I need but this is basically just like testing them out to see which products I like the most but I love this it's so cute uh, <laughs> I'm dropping everything okay so we got the platform. The my brain is not braining today. I did not sleep well last night. Oh my God, okay. Let's put this back on. And we got that, the little sand bath with a little hole and then the platform on top, which I love because I can probably put, probably put the water bottle on here or the salad dish, which is great. I love that. Last box, I remember what this is because I saw it on the online shop and then I saw how much it costed for shipping and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna wait till I go to the actual shop to get it, so. That's. Hello? Ah, that was easier. All right, so this is I love this. You can probably see the top. It's a mushroom hideout. Can I get it out? 
trying to get it out. The box. It's like, I'm getting out of the box. Aha. Ta-da! Okay. It's wrapped in so much styrofoam. I'm going to try not to break because I don't want to... Okay, how... <laughs> how am I supposed to get this out? Oh my goodness, I love this so much. It's so cute. I already have small ones like this that Pumpkin and Misty had. But this one's just like a bigger one. It's for Syrians, but there's no hole at the top, but it's a hole at the bottom. I love this so much. It's so cute. I'm so happy with everything that I purchased. Obviously, I'm going to go back and get everything else that I need. Like, I need more platforms, another sand dish probably a multi-chamber hideout, just stuff that I wasn't able to get because I didn't bring enough bags. <laughs> so yeah, now what I'm gonna do is put everything in the enclosures. I'm gonna try and evenly split each product between the two, because obviously I have Sunny and Latte. I'm gonna try split the two evenly. Not sure how that's gonna go, just because um, it's hard to decide what should go where. Obviously, things like the granules, it's easy to split because it's in a bag and the herbs and the flowers and stuff, the sprays. But I'm gonna, who should get the hideout? I don't know who's gonna get the hideout. I think latte would fit in here better. I don't know. It's probably gonna take me a while to experiment with different setups, but I will make sure to give you guys a cage tour when everything is done. This isn't gonna be perfect. My hamster care definitely still isn't where I want it to be, but it's definitely a step in the right direction and I'm so excited to see the results. I just know it's gonna take so long for me to decide where everything should go because I am so incredibly indecisive. <laughs> it's not even funny. So yeah. I'm probably gonna take a while to rearrange everything, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna look great. I just know it. So yeah, let's get organizing. I'll probably time lapse it because it's probably better that way so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I need to find out what to do with all this freaking styrofoam because there's so much of it and I do not want to throw it in the trash because it's not great. But I can't give it to the hamsters because it's plastic and if they eat it, I'll probably use it for other packaging purposes, but yeah. Spare styrofoam that I don't need. Fun. Okay. Let's get setting everything up. <laughs> this is so cool. The next day, I got so tired from filming yesterday, so I just kind of gave up and went to bed. <laughs> so today, I need to reorganize my whole hamster trolley so that the new supplies I got from Night Angel yesterday will fit. And I need to pull out the box from a cupboard just to store some stuff in there and get rid of a few bits and bobs on here because there's a lot on here that I don't need out right now. So. That's what we're doing this morning. 